Genoa Geno, Italian, Genova di Nova listen, Ligurian, Zena Zena, English, historically, and Latin, Genoa is the capital of the Italian region of Liguria and the sixth largest city in Italy. In 2015, 594,733 people lived within the city's administrative limits. As of the 2011 Italian census, the province of Genoa, which in 2015 became the metropolitan city of Genoa, counted 855,834 resident persons. Over 1.5 million people live in the wider metropolitan area stretching along the Italian Riviera, located on the Gulf of Genoa in the Ligurian Sea. Genoa has historically been one of the most important ports on the Mediterranean. It is currently the busiest in Italy and in the Mediterranean Sea and 12th busiest in the European Union. Genoa has been nicknamed La Superba, the proud one, due to its glorious past and impressive landmarks. Part of the old town of Genoa was inscribed on the World Heritage List UNESCO in 2006 as Genoa, La Strade Nuove and the system of the Palazzi dei Rali. The city's rich cultural history in art, music and cuisine allowed it to become the 2004 European capital of culture. It is the birthplace of Christopher Columbus, Andrea Doria, Niccolo Paganini, Giuseppe Mazzini, Renzo Piano and Grimaldo Canella, founder of the House of Grimaldi, among others. Genoa, which forms the southern corner of the Milan Turin Genoa Industrial Triangle of northwest Italy, is one of the country's major economic centers. The city has hosted massive shipyards and steelworks since the 19th century, and its solid financial sector dates back to the Middle Ages. The Bank of St. George, founded in 1407, is among the oldest in the world and has played an important role in the city's prosperity since the middle of the 15th century. Today a number of leading Italian companies are based in the city, including Fincantieri, Celix S, Insaldo Energia, Insaldo STS, Eduardo Raffinerie Garone, Piaggio Aerospace, Mediterranean Shipping Company and Costa Cruises. History Flag. The flag of Genoa is a St. George's cross, a red cross on a white field. The flag of England comes from the flag of Genoa, as remarked by the Duke of Kent in 1992. The St. George's flag, a red cross on a white field, was adopted by England and the City of London in 1190 for their ships entering the Mediterranean to benefit from the protection of the Genoese fleet. The English monarch paid an annual tribute to the Doge of Genoa for this privilege. The patron saint of Genoa was St. Lawrence until at least 958, but the Genoese transferred their allegiance to St. George at some point during the 11th or 12th century, most likely with the rising popularity of the warrior saint during the Crusades. Genoa also had a banner displaying a cross since at latest 1218, possibly as early as 1113. But the cross banner was not associated with the saint, indeed, the saint had his own flag, the Vexillum Beati Georgi first mentioned 1198, a red flag showing George and the dragon. A depiction of this flag is shown in the Genoese annals under the year 1227. The Genoese flag with the red cross was used alongside this, St. George's flag, from at least 1218, known as the insignia Cruxata Communis Genu, cross ensign of the Commune of Genoa. The saint's flag was the city's main war flag, but the cross flag was used alongside it in the 1240s. The St. George's flag, i.e. the flag depicting the saint, remained the main flag of Genoa at least until the 1280s. The flag now known as the St. George's Cross seems to have replaced it as Genoa's main flag at some point during the 14th century. The Book of Knowledge of All Kingdoms, c. 1385, shows it inscribed with the word Eustitia and described as and the lord of this place has as his ensign a white pennant with a red cross. At the top it is inscribed with justice, in this manner. Geography <inaudible> 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 The city of Genoa covers an area of 243 square kilometers, 94 square miles between the Ligurian Sea and the Apennine Mountains. The city stretches along the coast for about 30 kilometers, 19 miles from the neighborhood of Voltri to Nervi, and for 10 kilometers, 6.2 miles from the coast to the north along the valleys Polcevera and Bassano. 
The territory of Genoa is popularly divided into five main zones, the center, the west, the east, the Polchevera and the Bassano Valley. Genoa is adjacent to two popular Ligurian vacation spots, Camogli and Portofino. In the metropolitan area of Genoa lies a Veto Natural Regional Park. Climate Genoa has a borderline subtropical CFA and Mediterranean climate CSA in the Köppen climate classification, since only one summer month has less than 40 mm in of rainfall, preventing it from being classified as solely oceanic or Mediterranean, with a special note for the Genoa low. The average yearly temperature is around 19 degrees Celsius 66 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and 13 degrees Celsius 55 degrees Fahrenheit at night. In the coldest months, December, January and February, the average temperature is 12 degrees Celsius 54 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and 6 degrees Celsius 43 degrees Fahrenheit at night. In the warmest months, July and August, the average temperature is 27.5 degrees Celsius 82 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and 21 degrees Celsius 70 degrees Fahrenheit at night. The daily temperature range is limited, with an average range of about 6 degrees Celsius 11 degrees Fahrenheit between high and low temperatures. Genoa also sees significant moderation from the sea, in stark contrast to areas behind the Ligurian Mountains such as Parma, where summers are hotter and winters are quite cold. Annually, the average 2.9 of nights recorded temperatures of 0 degrees Celsius 32 degrees Fahrenheit mainly in January. The coldest temperature ever recorded was minus 8 degrees Celsius, 18 degrees Fahrenheit, on the night of February 2012. The highest temperature ever recorded during the day is 38.5 degrees Celsius, 101 degrees Fahrenheit, on the August 2015. Average annual number of days with temperatures of 30 degrees Celsius 86 degrees Fahrenheit is about 8, average 4 days in July and August, average annual temperature of the sea is 17.5 degrees Celsius 64 degrees Fahrenheit, from 13 degrees Celsius 55 degrees Fahrenheit in the period January to March to 25 degrees Celsius 77 degrees Fahrenheit in August. In the period from June to October, the average sea temperature exceeds 19 degrees Celsius, 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Genoa is also a windy city, especially during winter when northern winds often bring cool air from the Po Valley, usually accompanied by lower temperatures, high pressure and clear skies. Another typical wind blows from southeast, mostly as a consequence of Atlantic disturbances and storms, bringing humid and warmer air from the sea. Snowfall is sporadic, but does occur almost every year, albeit big amounts in the city center are rare. Annual average relative humidity is 68%, ranging from 63% in February to 73% in May. Sunshine hours total above 2,200 per year, from an average 4 hours of sunshine duration per day in winter to average 9 hours in summer. This value is an average between the northern half of Europe and North Africa. Government Municipal government The Municipal Council of Genoa is currently led by a right-wing majority, elected in June 2017. The mayor is Marco Bucci, expression of a right-wing alliance composed by Forza Italia, Lega Nord, Fratelli d'Italia and other minor lists. Topic: Administrative subdivision. The city of Genoa is subdivided into nine municipi administrative districts, as approved by the municipal council in 2007. Topic: Cityscape. Topic: Main sites. Notable to the city are the Palazzi dei Rali, included in UNESCO World Heritage Site Genoa, La Strade Nuove and the system of the Palazzi dei Rali. The world-famous Strade Nuove are via Garibaldi Strada Nuova, via Cairoli Strada and via Balbi, Strada Balbi. 
Among the most important palaces are the Palazzo Rosso, Palazzo Bianco, Palazzo Podesta o di Nicolazio Lomolino, Palazzo Real, Palazzo Angelo Giovanni Spinola, Palazzo Pietro Spinola di San Luca and Palazzo Spinola di Policeria. Genoa's historic centre is articulated in a maze of squares and narrow carugi, typical Genoese alleys. It joins a medieval dimension with following 16th century and Baroque interventions the ancient Via Area, now Via Garibaldi. Near Via Garibaldi, through the public elevator Castelletto Levante, one can reach one of the most scenic places in the city, Belvedere Castelletto. The center of Genoa is connected to its upper part by ancient paths caught between tall palaces, called crews. Walking along these small paths one can reach magnificent places like the Santario di Nostra Signora di Loreto. Very beautiful is the upper ring road so-called Circonvallazione Amanti that includes Corso Firenze, Corso Paganini, Corso Magenta, Via Solferina, and Corso Armellini. San Lorenzo Cathedral has a splendid portal and the dome designed by Galeazzo Alessi. Inside is found the treasure of the cathedral where among other objects there is also what is said to be the Holy Chalice. The symbols of the city are the Lanterna the Lighthouse 117 meters 384 feet high, old and standing lighthouse visible in the distance from the sea beyond 30 kilometers 19 miles, and the monumental fountain of Piazza di Ferrari, recently restored, out and out core of the city's life. Near Piazza di Ferrari and Teatro Carlo Felice is the Mazzini Gallery, a typical 19th-century structure with many elegant shops and coffee bars. Another tourist destination is the ancient seaside district of Bocadas which means, the mouth of the donkey, with its multicolor boats, set as a seal to Corso Italia, the promenade which runs along the Lido d'Albero, and known for its ice creams. After Bocadas you can continue along the sea up to Sterla. Just out of the city center, but still part of the 33 kilometers 21 miles of coast included in the municipality's territory, are Nervi, natural doorway to the Ligurian East Riviera, and Pegli, the point of access to the West Riviera. Nervi offers many attractions, the promenade overlooking the sea called Passaggiata Anita Garibaldi, parks covered with lush tropical vegetation, numerous villas and palaces open to the public that now house museums like Gam Galleria d'Arte Moderna, Rockolt Frugon Museum, Museo Giannettino Luxoro and Wolfsoniana, see also Parci di Nervi the East Riviera of Genoa called Riviera di Levante is part of the Italian Riviera. East Riviera is full of interesting towns to visit, and then from Genoa to east are, Bogliasco, Pieve Ligur, Sori, Recco, Camogli, Portofino, Santa Margarita Ligur, Rapallo, Zoegli, Chiavari, Lavagna and Sestri Levante. In the west, Pegli is the site of the famous Villa Durazzo Pallavicini and Aranzano is a seaside town at the foot of the Parco Natural Regionale del Bigua. The new Genoa based its rebirth upon the restoration of the green areas of the immediate inland parts, among them the Parco Natural Regionale del Bigua, and upon the construction of facilities such as the Aquarium of Genoa in the Old Harbour, the biggest in Italy and one of the major in Europe, and its marina, the tourist small port which holds hundreds of pleasure boats. All of these are inside the restored expo area, arranged in occasion of the Colombian celebrations of 1992. Near the city are Camogli and San Fruttuoso Abbey accessible by a daily ferry from the old harbour Porto Antico of Genoa. In the seabed in front of the San Fruttuoso Abbey there is the Christ of the Abyss. From the old harbour one can reach by boat other famous seaside places around Genoa such as Portofino or a little more distant, Larici and the Cinque Terra. The regained pride gave back to the city the consciousness of being capable of looking to the future without forgetting its past. The resumption of several flourishing hand-crafting activities, far back absent from the Karuji of the old town, is a direct evidence of it. The restoration of many of Genoa's churches and palaces in the 1980s and the 1990s contributed to the city's rebirth. A notable example the Renaissance, Basilica of Santa Maria Assunta, sitting on the top of the hill of Carignano and visible from almost every part of the city. The total restoration of Doge's Palace, once venue of Doge and Senators and nowadays location of cultural events, and of the Old Harbour and the rebuilding of Teatro Carlo Felice, destroyed by the Second World War bombings that only spared the neoclassic proneo of the architect Carlo Barabino, were two more points of strength for the realization of a new Genoa. 
Genoa could not renounce, especially as from the 1960s, to a great renewal, which has happened in several other metropolis, should necessarily get through the realization of big public housing complexes, whose quality, utility and functionality has been and still is controversial for those residents living there. Concerning this, the most known cases are those of the so-called Bischoni, a development in the shape of a long snake, situated on the hills of the populous district of Murasi, and the one of the group of houses known as La Lavatrice, the washing machines, in the district of Pra. Beyond a complete restyling of the area, the ancient port zone nearby the Mandraccio opening, in Porta Siberia, was enriched by Genoese architect Renzo Piano with a large sphere made of metal and glass, installed in the port's waters, not far from the Aquarium of Genoa, and unveiled in 2001 in occasion of the G8 summit held in Genoa. The sphere, called by the citizens, Piano's Bubble, or The Ball, after hosting an exposition of fens from Genoa's botanical gardens, currently houses the reconstruction of a tropical environment, with several plants, little animals and butterflies. Piano also designed the subway stations and, in the hills area, the construction, in collaboration with UNESCO, of Punta Nave, base of the Renzo Piano Building Workshop. Nearby the old harbour is the so-called Matitone. A skyscraper in shape of a pencil, that lays side by side with the group of the WTC Towers, core of the San Benigno development, today base of part of the municipality's administration and of several companies. <laughs> Churches St. Lawrence Cathedral di San Lorenzo is the city's cathedral, built in a Gothic Romanesque style. Other notable historical churches are the Commandary of the St. John's Order called Commenda di San Giovanni di Prel, San Matteo, San Donato, Santa Maria di Castello, Sant'Agostino deconsecrated since the 19th century, sometimes is used for theatrical representations, Santo Stefano, Santi Vittori e Carlo, Basilica della Santissima Annunziata del Vastato, San Pietro in Banshi, Santa Maria della Vigne, Nostra Signora della Consolazione, San Siro, San Santa Maria Maddalena, Santa Maria Assunta di Carignano and Chiesa del Gesù. San Bartolomeo degli Armini houses the image of Edessa and San Pancrazio after the World War II was entrusted to the Ligurian delegation of the Sovereign Military Order of Malta. These churches and basilicas are built in Romanesque San Donato, Santa Maria di Castello, Commenda di San Giovanni di Pre, Gothic San Matteo, Santo Stefano, Sant'Agostino, Baroque San Siro or Renaissance Santa Maria Assunta di Carignano, San Pietro in Banshee appearance, or a mix of different styles Nostra Signora della Consolazione, Santissima Annunziata del Vastato, this last has a Baroque interior and a neoclassicist facade. Another well-known Genoese church is the Shrine of St. Francis of Paola, notable for the outer courtyard overlooking the port and the memorial to all those who died at sea. This church is of artistic mention in that the tile depictions of the Via Crucis stations along the brick path to the church. Near Genoa is found the Shrine of Nostra Signora della Guardia. The sanctuary is said to have inspired the writer Umberto Eco in making his novel The Name of the Rose. Another interesting church in the neighborhoods of Genoa is San Siro di Struppa. The city was the birthplace of several popes Innocent IV, Adrian V, Innocent VIII, and Benedict XV and various saints Cyrus of Genoa, Romulus of Genoa, Catherine of Genoa, and Virginia Centurion Bracelli. The Archbishop of Genoa Jacobus de Voragine, wrote the Golden Legend. Also from Genoa were, Giovanni Paolo Oliva, the Superior General of the Society of Jesus, Girolamo Grimaldi Cavallaroni, the Archbishop of Aix, Asonio Franchi, priest, philosopher, and theologian, Cardinal Giuseppe Siri, and the priests Francesco Repetto, Giuseppe Dossetti, Gianni Baguette Bazzo, and Andrea Gallo. The present Archbishop of Genoa, Cardinal Angelo Bagnasca, comes from a Genoese family but was born in Pontevico, near Brescia see also Archdiocese of Genoa. <laughs> <laughs> Buildings and palaces The main features of central Genoa include the Piazza di Ferrari, around which are the opera and the palace of the Doges. The Palazzo di San Giorgio was the headquarters of the Bank of St. George and was the place where Marco Polo and Rusticello da Pisa composed the travels of Marco Polo. 
Outside the city walls is Christopher Columbus House, where Christopher Columbus is said to have lived as a child. The current building is an 18th-century reconstruction of the original which was destroyed by the French naval bombing of 1684. Strada Nuova now via Garibaldi, in the Old City, was inscribed on the World Heritage List in 2006. This district was designed in the mid-16th century to accommodate Mannerist palaces of the city's most eminent families. In Genoa there are 114 noble palaces see also Raleigh di Genova, among these 42 are inscribed on the World Heritage List. Among the Palazzi dei Raleigh the most famous are Palazzo Rosso now a museum, Palazzo Bianco, Palazzo Tersi, Palazzo Gerolamo Grimaldi, Palazzo Podesta, Palazzo Real, Palazzo Angelo Giovanni Spinola, Palazzo Pietro Spinola di San Luca, Palazzo Spinola di Policeria, Palazzo Sicala. Palazzo Bianco and Palazzo Rosso are also known as Musée di Strada Nuova. The famous art college is also located on this street. The Genoese artistic renaissance begins with the construction of Villa del Principe commissioned by Andrea Doria. The architects were Giovanni Angelo Montorsoli and Giovanni Ponzello. The interior was painted by Perino del Vega and the garden fountain was realized by Taddeo Carloni. In 1548 Galeazzo Alessi, with the project of Villa Giustiniani Cambiasso, designed a new prototype of Genoese palace that would be an inspiration to other architects working in Genoa as Bartolomeo Bianco, Pietro Antonio Carati, Rocco Larago, Giovanni Battista Castello, and Bernardino Cantoni. Peter Paul Rubens wrote Palazzi di Genova in 1622, a book dedicated to the palaces of Genoa. Scattered around the city are many villas, built between the 15th and the 20th centuries. Among the best known are, Villa Brignole Sale Duchessa di Galliera, Villa Durazzo Pallavicini, Villa Doria Centurione, Villa Durazzo Bombrini, Villa Serra, Villa Giustiniani Cambiasso, Villa Rossi Martini, Villa Imperiali Scassi, Villa Grimaldi, Villa Negrone Moro, Villa Rosazza, Valletta di Negro, Villa della Pesciere, Villa Imperiali, Villa Saluzzo Bombrini, and Villa Grimaldi Fascio. As it regards the 19th century remember the architects Ignazio Gardella senior, and Carlo Barabino which among other things, realizes together with Giovanni Battista Rezzasco, the monumental cemetery of Staglino. The cemetery is renowned for its statues and sepulchral monuments that preserve the mortal remains of notable personalities, including Giuseppe Mazzini, Fabrizio de André, and Constance Lloyd Oscar Wilde's wife. In the first half of the 19th century they are completed the Albergo dei Poveri and the Aquedoto Storico. In 1901 Giovanni Antonio Porcedu realized the Silos Granari. The city is rich in testimony of the Gothic revival like Alberti's Castle, Castello Bruzzo, Villa Canali Gaslinai and Mackenzie Castle designed by the architect Gino Capide. Genoa is also rich of Art Nouveau works, among which, Palazzo della Borsa, Via XX September, Hotel Bristol Palace, Grand Hotel Miramare and Stazione Maritima. Works of rationalist architecture of the first half of the 20th century are Torre Piacentini and Piazza della Vittoria where Arco della Vittoria, both designed by the architect Marcello Piacentini. Other architects who have changed the face of Genoa in the 20th century are, Ignazio Gardella, Luigi Carlo De Neri who realized the Piazza Rossetti and the residential complex so-called Il Biscioni, Mario Labo, Aldo Rossi, Ludovico Quaroni, Franco Albini who designed the interiors of Palazzo Rosso, and Piero Gambacciani. The Eduardo Chiasone Museum of Oriental Art, designed by Mario Labo, has one of the largest collections of Oriental art in Europe. Other notable architectural works include, the Ponte Mirandi by Riccardo Mirandi built 1967, collapsed 2018, the Old Harbour's new design with the Aquarium, the Bigo and the Biosfera by Renzo Piano, the Palasport di Genova, the Matitone Skyscraper, and the Padiglione B of Genoa Fair, by Jean Nouvelle. <laughs> Old Harbour The Old Harbour Porto Antico, in Italian, is the ancient part of the port of Genoa. The harbour gave access to outside communities creating a good geographical situation for the city. The city is spread out geographically along a section of the Liguria coast, which makes trading by ship possible. 
Before the development of car, train, and airplane travel, the main outside access for the city was the sea, as the surrounding mountains made trade north by land more difficult than coastal trade. Trade routes have always connected Genoa on an international scale, with increasingly farther reach starting from trade along Europe's coastline before the medieval period to today's connection across continents. In its heyday the Genoese navy was a prominent power in the Mediterranean. As the Genoa harbour was so important to the merchants for their own economic success, other nearby harbours and ports were seen as competition for a landing point for foreign traders. In the 16th century, the Genovese worked to destroy the local shipping competition, the Savona Harbour. Taking matters into their own hands, the Genoa merchants and the politically powerful in Genoa attacked the harbour of Savona with stones. This action was taken to preserve the economic stability and wealth of the city during the rise in prominence of Savona. The Genovese would go as far as to war with other coastal, trading cities such as Venice, in order to protect the trade industry. Renzo Piano redeveloped the area for public access, restoring the historical buildings like the cotton warehouses and creating new landmarks like the Aquarium, the Bigo and recently the Bola, the Sphere. The main touristic attractions of this area are the famous Aquarium and the Museum of the Sea In 2007 these attracted almost 1.7 million visitors. Aquarium of Genoa The Aquarium of Genoa in Italian, Acario di Genova, is the largest aquarium in Italy and among the largest in Europe. Built for Genoa Expo 92, it is an educational, scientific and cultural center. Its mission is to educate and raise public awareness as regards conservation, management and responsible use of aquatic environments. It welcomes over 1.2 million visitors a year. Control of the entire environment, including the temperature, filtration and lighting of the tanks was provided by local automation supplier Orsi Automazioni, acquired in 2001 by Siemens. The Aquarium of Genoa is co-ordinating the Aquaring EU project. It also provides scientific expertise and a great deal of content for aquaring, including documents, images, academic content and interactive online courses, via its online resource center. Topic. Walls and fortresses The city of Genoa during its long history at least since the 9th century had been protected by different line of defensive walls. Large portions of these walls remain today, and Genoa has more and longer walls than any other city in Italy. The main city walls are known as 9th century walls, Barbarossa walls, 12th century, 14th century walls. 16th century walls and new walls mura nuove in italian the more imposing walls built in the first half of the 17th century on the ridge of hills around the city have a length of almost 20 kilometers 12 miles some fortresses stand along the perimeter of the new walls or close them topic <laughs> parks Genoa has 82,000 square meters, 880,000 square feet of public parks in the city center, such as Valletta di Negro, which is right in the heart of the town, overlooking the historical center. Many bigger green spaces are situated outside the center. In the east are the parks of Nervi, 96,000 square meters or 1,030,000 square feet, overlooking the sea. In the west, the beautiful gardens of Villa Durazzo Pallavicini and its Giardino Botanico Clelia Durazzo Grimaldi, 265,000 square meters or 2,850,000 square feet. The numerous villas and palaces of the city also have their own gardens, like Palazzo del Principe, Villa Doria, Palazzo Bianco and Palazzo Tersi, Palazzo Nicolazio Lomolino, Alberti's Castle, Villa Rosazza, Villa Croce, Villa Imperiale Catania, Villa Bombrini, Villa Brignol Sale Duchessa di Galliera, Villa Serra and many more. The city is surrounded by natural parks such as Parco Natural Regionale dell'Antola, Parco Natural Regionale del Bigua, Aveto Natural Regional Park and and the Ligurian Sea Cetacean Sanctuary. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Promenades. 
Corso Italia runs for 2.5 kilometers, 1.6 miles in the Cordillera of Albara, linking two neighborhoods of Foce and Bocadas. The promenade, which was built in 1908, overlooks the sea towards the promontory of Portofino. The main landmarks are the small lighthouse of Punta Vagno, the San Giuliano Abbey, and the Lido of Albara. Passaggiata Anita Garibaldi, promenade overlooking the sea and 2 km .2 miles long, Nervi. Promenade of the Upper Ring Road, so-called, Circonvallazione a Monte, that includes, Corso Firenze, Corso Paganini, Corso Magenta, Via Solferina, Corso Armellini. Walks can be made from the center of Genoa following one of the many ancient paths between tall palaces and the Cruz to reach the higher areas of the city where there are magnificent places like Belvedere Castelletto, the Riggi's district, the Santario di Nostra Signora di Loreto, the Santario della Madonetta, the Santario di San Francesco da Paola. Monte Fash gives a complete view of the city. To reach the hinterland of the province of Genoa one can use the genoa casella Old Railway, 25 km 16 miles of railway between the Genoese mountains. Demographics At the beginning of 2011, there were 608,493 people residing in Genoa, of whom 47% were male and 53% were female. The city is characterized by rapid aging and a long history of demographic decline, that has shown a partial slowdown in the last decade. Genoa has the lowest birth rate and is the most aged of any large Italian city. Minors children ages 18 and younger totaled only 14.12% of the population compared to pensioners who number 26.67%. This compares with the Italian average of 18.06% and 19.94% pensioners. The median age of Genoa's residents is 47, compared to the Italian average of 42. The current birth rate of the city is only 7.49 births per 1,000 inhabitants, compared to the national average of 9.45. As of 2006, 94.23% of the population was Italian. The largest immigrant group is from the Americas, mostly Ecuador, 2.76%, other European nations, mostly Albania, Ukraine, the former Yugoslavia and Romania, 1.37%, and North Africa, 0.62%. The city is predominantly Roman Catholic, with small numbers of Protestants. Economy The Genoa metropolitan area had a GDP amounting to $30.1 billion in 2011, or $33,003 per capita. Ligurian agriculture has increased its specialization pattern in high-quality products flowers, wine, olive oil and has thus managed to maintain the gross value added per worker at a level much higher than the national average the difference was about 42% in 1999. The value of flour production represents over 75% of the agriculture sector turnover, followed by animal farming and vegetable growing Steel, once a major industry during the booming 1950s and 1960s, phased out after the late 1980s crisis, as Italy moved away from the heavy industry to pursue more technologically advanced and less polluting productions. So the Ligurian industry has turned towards a widely diversified range of high-quality and high-tech products food, shipbuilding in Sestri Ponente and in metropolitan area, Sestri Levante, electrical engineering and electronics, petrochemicals, aerospace etc. Nonetheless, the region still maintains a flourishing shipbuilding sector yacht construction and maintenance, cruise liner building, military shipyards. In the services sector, the gross value added per worker in Liguria is 4% above the national average. This is due to the increasing diffusion of modern technologies, particularly in commerce and tourism. A good motorway network 376 kilometers 234 miles in 2000 makes communications with the border regions relatively easy. The main motorway is located along the coastline, connecting the main ports of Nice in France, Savona, Genoa and La Spezia. 
The number of passenger cars per 1,000 inhabitants 524 in 2001 is below the national average 584. On average, about 17 million tons of cargo are shipped from the main ports of the region and about 57 million tons enter the region. The port of Genoa, with a trade volume of 58.6 million tons ranks first in Italy, second in terms of 20-foot equivalent units after the transshipment port of Gioia Toro, with a trade volume of over 2 million TEUs. The main destinations for the cargo passenger traffic are Sicily, Sardinia, Corsica, Barcelona, and the Canary Islands. Some companies based in Genoa include Insaldo STS, Insaldo Energia, Eduardo Raffinery Garone, Piaggio Aerospace, Registro Italiano Navale, Banca Carriage, Slam, and Costa Cruises. Urzelli <inaudible> <inaudible> Science Technology Park The western area of Genoa hosts the Urzelli Great Campus, an under-construction science technology park which houses the high-tech corporations Siemens, Ericsson, Iseote, and Robotics Laboratories of the Italian Institute of Technology The Urzelli Great Campus Science Park is undergoing a process of enlargement, and in the future will host the new Faculty of Engineering of University of Genoa. The project has been struggling in recent years with enterprises laying off their employees and no real growth. Topic: Culture. Topic: Visual art. Genoese painters active in the 14th century include Barnaba da Modena and his local followers Niccolò da Voltri and at the same time, the sculptor Giovanni Pisano reached Genoa to make the monument for Margaret of Brabant, whose remains are today housed in the Museum of Sant'Agostino. In the 16th century along with the flourishing trade between the Republic of Genoa and Flanders also grew the cultural exchanges. The painters Lucas and Cornelis de Weil lived in Genoa for a long time, where they played the role of a magnet for many Flemish painters like Jan Roos, Giacomo Leggi, Jan Matzies, Andries van Eertvelt and Vincent Malo. This creative environment also attracted the two most important Flemish painters, Rubens and van Dyck, who along with Bernardo Strozzi, gave life to the Genoese painting school of the 17th century. Much of the city's art is found in its churches and palaces, where there are numerous Renaissance, Baroque and Rococo frescoes. They are rich in works of art the Cathedral, the Chiesa del Gesù where the Circumcision and the Miracles of Saint Ignatius by Rubens, the Asunzione della Vergine by Guido Reni. The Church of San Donato contains works of Barnaba da Modena, Niccolò da Voltri and Jos van Cleve, the Church of Santo Stefano the Stoning of Saint Stephen by Giulio Romano and the Church of Santa Maria Assunta the sculptures by Filippo Parodi and Pierre Puget, very interesting is the Santa Maria di Castello. But most of the works are kept in the palaces like Palazzo Bianco where Ecce Homo by Caravaggio, Susanna and the Elders by Veronese, and the garden party in Albara by Magnasco are kept, Palazzo Rosso with the portrait of Anton Giulio Brignol Sale by Van Dyck, Cleopatra Morenti by Guercino and works of Durer, Bernardo Strozzi, Mattia Preti, Veronese, Palazzo Spinola di Policeria where the portrait of Giovanni Carlo Doria on horseback by Rubens and Ecce Homo by Antonello da Messina see also the series of Ecce Homo by Antonello da Messina are kept, Palazzo Tersi with the penitent Magdalene by Canova, and Palazzo Real which contains works of Strozzi, Galli, Tintoretto, Van Dyck, Simon Vuit, Guercino. The most important Genoese painters are Luca Cambiasso, Bernardo, and Valerio Castello, Giovanni Benedetto Castiglioni. Domenico, and Paolo Gerolamo Piola, Gregorio de Ferrari, Bernardo Strozzi, Giovanni Battista Galli, and Alessandro Magnasco. Sculptors include Filippo Parodi, the wood sculptor Anton Maria Moraliano, Francesco Maria Schiaffino, and Agostino Carlini, who was member of the Royal Academy. In Genoa on 14 February 1404, the famous humanist author, architect, poet and philosopher Leon Battista Alberti was born. 
From Genoa was also Simonetta Vespucci considered the most beautiful woman of her time, we find portrayed in The Birth of Venus an allegory of Primavera by Sandro Botticelli and in Portrait of Simonetta Vespucci by Piero di Cosimo. Genoa is also famous for its numerous tapestries, which decorated the city's many salons. Whilst the patrician palaces and villas in the city were and still are austere and majestic, the interiors tended to be luxurious and elaborate, often full of tapestries, many of which were Flemish. Famous is the Genoese lace called with its name of Turkish origin, macrame. Very used in Genoa is the cobblestone called Riseu, and a kind of azulejo called Lagioni. Genoa has been likened by many to a Mediterranean New York, perhaps for its high houses that in the Middle Ages were the equivalent of today's skyscrapers, perhaps for the sea route Genoa-New York which in past centuries has been travelled by millions of emigrants. The architect Renzo Picasso in his visionary designs reinforces this strange affinity between the two cities. In the monumental cemetery of Staglino, you can admire some magnificent sculpture of the 19th century and early 20th century like Monteverde Angel by Giulio Monteverde, or works by artists such as Augusto Rivalta, Leonardo Bistolfi, Eduardo Alfieri, Santo Varni. Among the Genoese painters of the 19th century and of the first half of the 20th century remember Tamar Luxoro, Ernesto Raper. Rubaldo Morello, and Antonio Giuseppe Santagata. In Genoa also grows up the sculptor Francesco Messina. In 1967, the Genoese historian, critic, and curator Germano Sellin coined the term arte povera. Enrico Acatino was another important art theorist, and Emanuele Lazzati was the production designer and illustrator, like Lorenzo Mangiardino, also him a production designer and architect. Two other important artists are Emilio Scannavino and Vanessa Beecroft. In 1972 was founded in Rapallo near Genoa the annual art exhibition International Cartoonists Exhibition. About this, we have to remember the illustrator and comics artist, Giovanni Battista Carpi. Literature Anonymous of Genoa was one of the first authors in Liguria and Italy who wrote verses in the vernacular. It explained that in Genoa Marco Polo and Rusticello da Pisa, in the prisons of Palazzo San Giorgio, wrote the travels of Marco Polo. The Golden Legend is a collection of hagiographies written by the Archbishop of Genoa Jacobus de Voragine. To animate the Genoese literary environment of the 16th century were Gabriello Chiabrera and Insaldo Seba the latter best known for his correspondence with Sara Copia Sullum. The city has been the birthplace of the historian Cafaro di Rustico da Cachifalone, of the poet Martin Piaggio, of the famous historian, philosopher and journalist Giuseppe Mazzini, of the writer Piero Jaye, of the poet Nobel Prize Eugenio Montal. The writer and translator Fernanda Pavano, the journalist Vito Elio Petrucci. And the poet Eduardo Sanguinetti, the literary critic Carlo Bo instead was born in Sestri Levante near Genoa. We have also remember the dialect poet Eduardo Firpo and the symbolist Ciccardo Roccatagliata Ciccardi. The city of Genoa has been an inspiration to many writers and poets among which, Dino Campana, Camillo Sabarbaro, Gaspar Invri who wrote, The Mouth of the Wolf, and Giorgio Caproni. Between the alleys of the historical center there is the old Libraria Bazi. The Barrio Civic Library houses the precious manuscript entitled The Durazzo Book of Hours. In the first half of the 20th century, the Mazzini Galleries was a meeting place of many artists, writers, and intellectuals, among which Guido Gazzano, Salvatore Quasimodo, Camillo Sabarbaro, Francesco Messina, Pierangelo Baritono, Eugenio Montal. In the 30s of the 20th century, was active in Genoa the Circoli magazine and after the World War II the Il Gallo magazine. Coveted and known from the 1960s to the 1980s was the Genoese literary lounge animated by the writer Minnie Alzona. Dutch writer Ilya Leonard Pfeiffer wrote, La Suberba, a novel in which Genoa is prominently featured. Since 1995, all the months of June take place in Genoa the Genoa's International Poetry Festival, conceived by Claudio Pisani with the help of Massimo Bacigalupo. Um, 
Topic: Music. Genoa was a center of Occitanie culture in Italy and for this reason it developed an important school of troubadours, Lanfranc Sagala, Jacmi Grills, Bonifaci Calvo, Lucchetto Gattelusio, Guillaume de Rosers, and Simon Doria. Genoa is the birthplace of the composer Simone Molinero, violinist and composer Niccolò Paganini, violinist Camillo Savori and composer Cesare Pugni. In addition, the famous violin maker Paolo de Barbieri. Paganini's violin, Il Canoni Garnarius, is kept in Palazzo Tursi. The city is the site of the Niccolò Paganini Music Conservatory. Alessandro Stradella, a composer of the Middle Baroque, lived in Genoa and was assassinated in 1682. Felice Romani was a poet who wrote many librettos for the opera composers like Gaetano Donizetti and Vincenzo Bellini. Giovanni Ruffini was another poet known for writing the libretto of the opera Don Pasquale for its composer. In 1847, Goffredo Mamelli and Michel Novaro composed Il Canto degli Italiani. In 1857, debuted the work of Giuseppe Verdi entitled Simon Bocanegra, inspired by the first doge of Genoa, Simone Bocanegra. Genoa is also the birthplace of the conductor Fabio Lucci and of many opera singers like Giuseppe Today, Margarita Carosio, Luciana Serra, and Daniela Desi. The Teatro Carlo Felice was built in 1828 in the city in the Piazza di Ferrari, and named for the monarch of the then Kingdom of Sardinia, which included the present regions of Sardinia, Piedmont, and Liguria. The theatre was the centre of music and social life in the 19th century. On various occasions in the history of the theatre, presentations have been conducted by Mascagni, Richard Strauss, Hindemith and Stravinsky. Other Genoese theatres are the Politima Genovese, Teatro Stable di Genova, Teatro della Tosse and Teatro Gustavo Modena. On the occasion of the Christopher Columbus celebration in 1992, new musical life was given to the area around the Old Port, including the restoration of the House of Paganini and presentations of the Tralalero, the traditional singing of Genoese dock workers. The Tralalero, traditional music in the Genoese dialect, is a polyphonic vocal music, performed by five men and several songs. The Tralalero are ancient songs that have their roots in the Mediterranean tradition. Another aspect of the traditional Genoese music is the nostalgic song. The principal authors and singers of the nostalgic song in Genoese dialect are Mario Capello who wrote the piece, Ma se ghe penso, English, But if I think about it, a memory of Genoa by an emigrant to Argentina, Giuseppe Marzari, Agostino Dodero up to I Trilli, Piero Parodi, Bubi Senarega, Frank Alai. The traditional nostalgic song will have a great influence on the so-called scuola genovese of singer-songwriters that in some cases will mix the nostalgic feeling with pop and jazz atmospheres. The singer Natalino Otto started the swing genre in Italy and his friend and colleague Pippa Barzizza was a composer, arranger, conductor and music director. Other musicians, composers and arrangers are Angelo Francesco Lavagnino, Gian Piero Reverberi, Gian Franco Reverberi, Oscar Prudent, Pivio and Aldo Descalzi. Genoa in the second half of the 20th century was famous for an important school of Italian singer-songwriters, so-called Scuola Genovese, that includes Umberto Bindi, Luigi Tenco, quote, comma, quote, Gino Paoli, quote, comma, quote, Bruno Lauzi, quote, comma, quote, Fabrizio De Andre, Ivano Fassati, Angelo Brandwardi, and Francesco Bassini. Nino Ferrer was also born in Genoa. In the 70s, there were formed in Genoa numerous bands of Italian progressive rock like New Trolls, Piccio Dal Pozzo, Latte e Mili, and Delirium. Today, we point the band Buio Pesto and the Banshee Band. Some songs about the city of Genoa are part of Italian popular culture, like Via del Campo and La Città Vecchia by Fabrizio de Andre, Genova per noi by Paolo Conte, La Casa in Via del Campo the song also sung by Amalia Rodriguez and Piazza Alamanda the song about the facts of Genoa 2001 by Francesco Guccini. Fabrizio de Andre in 1984 released the album Cruza de Ma, totally written in Genoese dialect. 
Imadrigalisti di Genova is a vocal and instrumental group formed in 1958 which specialized in medieval and Renaissance repertoire. The city has numerous music festivals, among which are concerts at San Fruttuoso Abbey, Premio Paganini, I Concerti di San Torpete, International Music Festival Genova, We Love Jazz, Gesmitz Festival and Workshop, and Goa Boa Festival. In the town of Santa Margarita Ligure, the ancient Abbey of Cervara is often the site of chamber music. Jovine Orchestra Genovese, one of the oldest concert societies in Italy, was founded in Genoa in 1912. Topic: <inaudible> Cinema. Genoa has been the set for many films and especially for the genre called poliziesque. Notable directors born in Genoa include Pietro Germi and Giuliano Montaldo, the actors, Gilberto Govi, Vittorio Gassman, Paolo Villaggio, Alberto Lupo, the actresses, Lina Volonghi, Delia Bicardo, Rosanna Schiaffino, Eleonora Rossi Drago, Marcella Michelangeli and the pornographic actress Moana Pazzi. Before actor Bartolomeo Pagano's cinema career, he was a camello, which means stevedore, at the port of Genoa. His cinema career began with the film Cabiria, one of the first and most famous colossal. In 1985 were filmed in Genoa some scenes of Pirates by Roman Polanski, finished shooting they left in the old harbour the galleon Neptune. Some films set in Genoa. <laughs> <laughs> Language The Genoese dialect is the most important dialect of the Ligurian language, and is commonly spoken in Genoa alongside Italian. Ligurian is listed by Ethnologue as a language in its own right, of the Romance branch, the Ligurian Romance language, and not to be confused with the ancient Ligurian language. Like the languages of Lombardy, Piedmont, and surrounding regions, it is of Gallo-Italic derivation. Sports There are two major football teams in Genoa, Genoa CFC and UC. Sampdoria, the former is the oldest football club operating in Italy, history of Genoa CFC. The football section of the club was founded in 1893 by James Richardson Spensley, an English doctor. Genoa 1893 has won nine championships between 1898 and 1924 and one Italy Cup season 1936-1937. UC Sampdoria was founded in 1946 from the merger of two existing clubs, Andrea Doria founded in 1895 and Sampier Derenice founded in 1911. Sampdoria has won one Italian championship Serie A, season 1990-1991, four Italy Cups, one UEFA Cup Winners' Cup in 1989-90 and one Italian Super Cup. Both Genoa CFC and UC. Sampdoria play their home games in the Luigi Ferraris Stadium, which holds 36,536 spectators. Deeply felt is the derby called Derby della Lanterna. The international tennis tournament Aeon Open Challenger takes place in Genoa. In rugby union the city is represented by CUS Genova Rugby, which is the rugby union team of the University of Genoa Sports Centre. CUS Genova had their peak in 1971–1973 when the team was runner-up of the Italian Serie A for three consecutive seasons and contested unsuccessfully the title to Petrarca Rugby. Amongst the CUS Genova players who represented Italy at international level the most relevant were Marco Bolasan and Agostino Puppo. In 1947 was founded the CUS Genova Hockey and in 1968 the basketball club Athletic Genova. The city hosts the FIFA World Cup in 1934 and in 1990, in 1988 the European Karate Championships and in 1992 the European Athletics Indoor Championships. In 2003 was inaugurated the indoor sporting arena, Valent Palace. The city lends its name to a particular type of a sailing boat so-called Genoa Sail. In 2007 the city hosts the tall ships races. Cuisine <coughs> 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 Popular sauces of Genoese cuisine include pesto sauce, garlic sauce called agliata, walnut sauce, called salsa di nocci, green sauce, pesto di fave, pasta dachu and the meat sauce called u toku. Genovese sauce instead is the contribution of Genoa to the Neapolitan cuisine. 
The Genoese tradition includes many varieties of pasta as trinette, corzetti, see also corsetti, trophy, pansati, croxetti, and also farinata, panisa, and cuculi. Key ingredient of Genoese cuisine is the prasinsewa used among other things to prepare the torta pascalina and the barbajuai and still focaccia con la sipil, farinata di zucca, focaccia al formaggio and the focaccia con il formaggio which means, focaccia with cheese, that is even being considered for European Union PGI status. Other key ingredients are many varieties of fish as sardines, anchovies see also axiug ripien and axiug sato sale, garfish, swordfish, tuna, octopus, squid, mussels, the stockafiso which means stockfish see also brandicujun, the mashame and jancheti. Other elements of Genoese cuisine include the Ligurian olive oil, the cheeses like bros, u cabanon, san sti cheese, gincata, the sausages like testa in cassetta, salami cotto and the salami Genovese di Santelcesi which is the style of Genoa salami. Fresh pasta usually trophy or trinette with pesto sauce is probably the most iconic among Genoese dishes. Pesto sauce is prepared with fresh Genovese basil, pine nuts, grated parmesan, garlic and olive oil pounded together. Liguria wines such as Pagato, Vermentina, Shashetra, Rossesi di Dolceacqua and Siligiolo del Tigolio are popular. Dishes of Genoese tradition include the tripe cooked in various recipes like Espera, the Polpetan di Melanzane, the Tomixel, the Minestroni alla Genovese, the Bagnon, the fish consisting Chupin the precursor to San Francisco's Chipino, the Burrita, the Sepi and Zimino and the Prebazion. Two sophisticated recipes of Genoese cuisine are, the Capon Magro and the Cima alla Genovese a song by Fabrizio de André is titled A Cima and is dedicated to this Genoese recipe. Originating in Genoa is pandolce that gave rise to Genoa cake. The city lands its name to a special paste used to prepare cakes and pastries called Genoise and to the pan de jeans. In Genoa there are many food markets in typical 19th century iron structures as Mercato del Ferro, Mercato di Negro, Mercato di Via Pri, Mercato di Piazza Sarzano, Mercato del Carmen, Mercato della Foce, Mercato Romagnosi. The Mercato Oriental instead is in masonry and has a circular structure. People Genoa has left an extraordinary impression on many noted personalities. Friedrich Nietzsche loved Genoa and wrote some of his works there. Sigmund Freud and Ezra Pound lived near Genoa in Rapallo. Anton Chekhov said that Genoa is the most beautiful city in the world. And Richard Wagner wrote, I have never seen anything like this Genoa, it is something indescribably beautiful. Among the personalities of the 19th and 20th centuries who wrote about Genoa were Heinrich Heine, Osip Mandelstam, Alexander Ivanovich Herzen, Mary Shelley, Oscar Wilde, John Ruskin Charles Dickens, Mark Twain, Joseph Conrad, Vicente Blasco Ibáñez, Gustave Flaubert, Alexander Dumas, Louis Eno, Valérie Lebeau, Albert Camus, Paul Valéry, F. Scott Fitzgerald, Paul Clay, Giuseppe Verdi, Giacomo Puccini, and Pietro Mascagni. Verdi in his work, Simon Bocanegra, is inspired by the medieval history of the city. The poets Dino Campana, Camillo Sabarbaro and Giorgio Caproni have made Genoa a recurring element of their poetic work. Famous Genoese include Sinibaldo and Ottobuono Fieschi Popes Innocent IV and Adrian V, Giovanni Battista Saibo Pope Innocent VIII and Giacomo della Chiesa Pope Benedict XV, navigators Christopher Columbus, Antonio de Noli, Enrico Alberto d'Albertis, Enrico de Candia Henry, Count of Malta and Andrea Doria, composers Niccolò Paganini and Michel Novaro, Italian patriots Giuseppe Mazzini, Goffredo Mamelli and Nino Bixio, writer and translator Fernanda Pavone, Bono, poet Eduardo Sanguinetti, communist politician Palmiro Tagliati, architect Renzo Piano, art curator and critic Germano Selland, physics 2002 Nobel Prize winner Ricardo Giacconi, literature 1975 Nobel Prize winner Eugenio Montal, the court painter Giovanni Maria della Pien Il Mulinaretto from the della Pien family, artists Vanessa Beecroft, Enrico Accadino, comedians Gilberto Govi, Paolo Villaggio, Bep Grillo, Luca Bizzari, Paolo 
Kesisolu and Maurizio Croza, singer songwriters Fabrizio de Andre, Ivano Fassati, Umberto Bindi, Bruno Lauzi, and Francesco Bassini, while Luigi Tenco and Gino Paoli are also known as Genoese singer songwriters, although they are respectively from Cassine and Monfalcone, actor Vittorio Gassman, and actress Moana Pazzi, Giorgio Parodi, who conceived the motorcycle company Moto Guzzi with Carlo Guzzi and Giovanni Rivelli. Some reports say the navigator and explorer Giovanni Cabato John Cabot was also from Genoa, others say he was from Savona. Saints from Genoa include Romulus, Cyrus, Catherine of Genoa. Among the latest generations, musicians like Andrea Bicchetti, Giulio Plotino, Sergio Ciome, Lorenzo Cavasanti, Stefano Bagliano and Fabrizio Cipriani, as well as academics and authors like Michel Giugliano and Roberto Dillon, help in keeping the name of the city on the international spotlight in different fields among the arts, technology and culture. Museums. <laughs> <laughs> Education and research The first organized forms of higher education in Genoa date back to the 13th century when private colleges were entitled to award degrees in medicine, philosophy, theology, law, arts. Today the University of Genoa, founded in the 15th century, is one of the largest in Italy, with 11 faculties, 51 departments and 14 libraries. In 2007-2008, the university had 41,000 students and 6,540 graduates. Genoa is also home to other colleges, academies or museums. The Italian Institute of Technology was established in 2003 jointly by the Italian Ministry of Education, Universities and Research and the Italian Minister of Economy and Finance to promote excellence in basic and applied research. The main fields of research of the institute are neuroscience, robotics, nanotechnology, drug discovery. The central research labs and headquarters are located in Morego, in the neighborhood of Bolzaneto, Clemson University, based in South Carolina. United States has a villa in Genoa where architecture students and students in related fields can attend for a semester or year long study program. Florida International University FIU, based in Miami, Florida, United States also has a small campus in Genoa, with the University of Genoa, which offers classes within the FIU School of Architecture. Science Genoa is the birthplace of Giovanni Battista Baliani and Vincentio Rineri, of the geneticist Luigi Luca Cavalli Sforza, of the Nobel Prize astrophysicist Riccardo Giacconi and of the astronaut Franco Malerba. The city is home to the Urzelli High Tech Park, to the Istituto Italiano di Tecnologia, to the Istituto Idrografico della Marina and annually hosts the Festival della Scienza. The city has an important tradition in the fields of the geology, paleontology, botany and naturalistic studies. Among the most eminent personalities remember, Lorenzo Pareto, Luigi Dalbertis, Enrico Alberto Dalbertis, Giacomo Doria and Arturo Issel, we point the Orto Botanico dell'Università di Genova. Very important and renowned is the Istituto Genina Gaslinae. In 1846 the city hosted the eighth meeting of Italian scientists and in 1902 Luigi Carnera discovered an asteroid and called it 485 Genua, dedicating it to the Latin name of Genoa. Topic: Transport. Topic: Ports. Several cruise and ferry lines serve the passenger terminals in the Old Port, with a traffic of 3.2 million passengers in 2007. MSC Cruises chose Genoa as one of its main home ports, in competition with the Genoese company Costa Cruises, which moved its home port to Savona. The keys of the passenger terminals extend over an area of 250,000 square meters, 2,700,000 square feet, with 5 equipped berths for cruise vessels and 13 for ferries, for an annual capacity of 4 million ferry passengers, 1.5 million cars and 250,000 trucks. 
The historical maritime station of Ponte dei Mille is today a technologically advanced cruise terminal, with facilities designed after the world's most modern airports, to ensure fast embarking and disembarking of latest generation ships carrying thousand passengers. A third cruise terminal is currently under construction in the redesigned area of Ponte Parodi, once a key used for grain traffic. The Costa Concordia cruise ship, owned by Costa Cruises, was docked at the port before being dismantled. Air transport The airport of Genoa IATA, Goa, ICAO, LIMJ, is built on an artificial peninsula, 4 nm 7.4 km, 4.6 miles west of the city. The airport is currently operated by Aeroporto di Genova SPA, which has recently upgraded the airport complex, that now connects Genoa with several daily flights to Rome, Naples, Paris, London, Madrid and Munich. In 2008, 1,202,168 passengers travelled through the airport, with an increase of international destinations and charter flights. Public transport The main railway stations are Genoa Brignole in the east and Genoa Principe in the west. Genoa Brignole is close to the business districts and the exhibition centre, while the Principe is close to the port, the university and the historical centre. From these two stations depart the main trains connecting Genoa to France, Turin, Milan and Rome. Genoa's third most important station is Genoa Sampierdarina, which serves the densely populated neighborhood of Sampierdarina. Twenty-three other local stations serve the other neighborhoods on the 30-kilometer long coast line from Nervi to Voltri and on the northern line through Bolzaneto and the Polcevera Valley. The municipal administration of Genoa plans to transform these urban railway lines to be part of the rapid transit system, which now consists of the Metropolitana di Genova Genoa Metro, a light metro connecting Brin to the city centre. The metro line has been recently extended to Brignole Station in December 2012. The Corvetto Station between De Ferrari and Brignole is currently passed through. A possible further extension towards the eastern, densely populated boroughs was planned, but the municipal administration intends to improve the public transport by investing in new tram lines instead of completing the extension of the light metro. The current stations of the metro line are Brin Certosa, Dinegro, Principe, Darsina, San Giorgio, Sant'Agostino and De Ferrari, and the line is 5.3 km 3 .3 miles long. The city's hilly nature has influenced its public transport. The city is served by three funicular railways the Zecca Rigi Funicular, the Santana Funicular, and the Quesi Funicular, the Principe Granarolo Rack Railway, and ten public lifts. The city's metro, bus, and trolleybus network is operated by AMT. Azienda Mobilita e Trasporti SPA. The Drin Bus is a demand responsive transport service that connects the hilly, low density areas of Genoa. The average time people spend commuting on public transit in Geneva, for example to and from work, is 54 minutes on a weekday. 10% of public transit riders ride for more than two hours every day. The average time people wait at a stop or station for public transit is 12 minutes, while 13% of riders wait over 20 minutes on average every day. The average distance people usually ride in a single trip with public transit is 4 km, while 2% travel for over 12 km in a single direction. <laughs> <laughs> International relations Genoa is twinned with Genoa has bilateral agreements with the following sister cities. Topic Consulates Topic Notable People Topic See also Genoa, La Strade Nuove and the system of the Palazzi dei Rali List of tallest buildings in Genoa Mount Haven Amico Haven Tanker Disaster List of diplomats of Great Britain to the Republic of Genoa <laughs>